Welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, 25-year professional speaker, six-time author, and coach for women. And with me today is Jennifer Lorraine, and she is a musician who has an exciting song coming out on International Women's Day. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. So I know that you have two lives. You're an attorney, but you're also a singer and musician. How long have you been singing? Well, um, I would say I've been singing my entire life. You know, my mom's got pictures of me as a two-year-old holding up the wooden <laughs> spoon, singing into it. So it's really been a lifelong passion of mine. Oh, that's so fun. And have you ever done anything with it professionally before this? I have, actually. When I was, uh, I'd say, 15 or 16 years old, I actually did some singing in, in Tennessee, in Nashville, in wow. Jackson City, Tennessee. Wow. Um, I had a really cool opportunity. I was singing at a nightclub in Johnson City, Tennessee, and um, what is left of Leonard Skinner was playing right down the road at Freedom oh, Hall. Wow. So I actually had an opportunity to, uh, they, they, they crashed the place that I was singing and got up on stage and it was just an incredible wow. experience. Oh, so, I bet, yeah. I bet. So that <laughs> yes. was life-changing, I'm sure. Yes, <laughs> it was very cool. Yeah, and, and was it the whole time you were in Tennessee, were you singing that whole time? So we would actually make trips there from Pennsylvania. I'm from Pennsylvania, so my parents were very, very supportive. Wow. And we would drive from Pennsylvania to Tennessee, and I would perform, you know, a weekend here or there. We would make, you know, trips to Nashville, and I recorded a couple things with some bands there, and so... That was sort of my first professional wow. uh, foray into music. Yes, congratulations! That's awesome. I know the music industry can be a difficult one, so it sounds yes. like you got an early entree in, and it was pretty smooth. Yes, yes, and you know I've always had other focuses as well. So uh, music has always been a part of my life, but it's not my only career, so to speak. And so I think that takes a little bit of the pressure off. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about this new song. What prompted you to write it? What's it called and what's it all about? So the song is called Ladylike and I actually only wrote a small part of it. Okay. I have a very, very talented team here in Jacksonville. Uh, Anthony Moore is who wrote the majority of the song. Um, he's actually a minister in town oh, who fun. loves music as well and he wrote this song, you know, based off of my experiences um, that I had confided to him. And then I think the experiences of a lot of other um, women and couples that he had counseled um, where the women were not necessarily treated in the best way mm. and really needed to realize their worth mm. and not let someone else define who they are and their worth. And so it's definitely a female power anthem. It is a, I'm taking my power back and I know who I am and I know what I'm worth. And so, so yes. a modern day, I am woman, hear me roar, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And you know, ladylike is, we're sort of redefining what it is to be ladylike. Yes. So it's not necessarily the way that you would think of ladylike being proper or, right. you know, um, timid in some way, you know, not speaking out. It's, I'm ladylike because I know who I am. Right. And so it's, it's a really interesting uh, take on that. And so it's something that's really fun to be able to put out there, especially on International Women's Day. Right. Yes. That's very exciting. So is there, the purpose of it is to empower women and help women set their own boundaries and not let other people define them? Definitely. Yes, it's, you know, you, you are your own person with, you know, with your power and you need to seize that power and don't let someone else tell you who you are. Right. Right. Yes. yes I've, I've lived that myself. Yes. Well, that's... <laughs> when I was a lot younger. Yes, yes. Yes. And that's the neat thing about the song is, you know, honestly, women, even some men probably can relate yes. to it. Oh, yes. It's, it's an issue that unfortunately everybody sees at some point, most likely in their lifetime. Right. And it doesn't matter if you are young, old, you know, where you come from, your background, your race. It's a message that everyone 
can relate to. So I'm really excited to see the response. That's exciting. So where can we hear it? Where can we find it? Where can we listen to it? Yes. So it will be on pretty much every streaming platform, music store that you might use. So Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music,、uh, SoundCloud.、Uh, eventually, a couple weeks after the song, there will be a music video out that will be also on. YouTube and and places like that. So pretty much anywhere you listen to music, you should be able to find it. And so after the tenth, we'll be able to find it on your website as well. Is that right? Yes. So the song officially、um, was released on March the eighth. Okay. And my website should. Go live a couple of days later. Once I get all of the links to the different places that you、right. can find the song, I'll work with the developers to put those on the website. So yes, the website should be live if all goes well. On and, wh- and what is the website? It's you can find it two ways. It's either www.jlorainemusic.com, okay, or jenniferlorainemusic.com. Wonderful. Well,、yes. I'm so excited for you. I'm、Thank、really you. looking forward to hearing this song. It sounds like it's going to be an anthem that a lot of women could subscribe to. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you.